What's happening, ghoulies? Welcome back to the Voina Experience. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and continuing our journey with us as we explore more of the past Spirit Halloween themes that have been showcased over the years leading up to uh, the new season of Spirit Halloween and their 40th anniversary season. Um, if you guys are just joining us for the very first time, I will leave links to the previous videos that we've made down in the description. Uh, we have been going through all the Spirit Halloween themes over the years. We started in 2006, and I believe we ended at 2011 in the last video that we made. So today, we are going to start with 2012 and hopefully get through uh, at least through 2014 with the in-store displays. Um, and then we'll have some fun. We'll take a look at those together. We're going to look at the themes. We're going to check out an animatronic or two from each of the setups. And just, you know, kind of show you guys some pictures, see what kind of videos we can find, and, and just have some fun. So let's hop over to the Spirit Halloween Wikia page right now, ghoulies, and get started. All right, ghoulies, so here we are on the Spirit Wikia page. We have brought ourselves to the themes section of the page, and we're going to just scroll down and get to where we left off. So like I said, we've done 2006, which is where they started, and we have gone through 2011, so today we're going to start with 2012 and hopefully get down here through 2014. Now I'm looking at you know some of these. We might not showcase all of them in depth just because some of them might just be a, a prop display or a standee or something. So we'll just kind of go through it and see how we get. We're looking at these for the first time along with you guys. So this is going to be reactions and reviews just as we're seeing it and experiencing it with you guys. So we're going to go up here to 2012, starting off with the Jack the Reaper archway. Now, my tunes is uh, here pointed out that the Jack the Reaper archway was listed here in the 2011 display and that I might have missed that in the last video. However, I don't recall seeing it there, so I don't know. If, if I was wrong, I apologize, but we're going to cover it today because they also used it in 2012. Jack the Reaper Archway. Let's take a look at what this is. Jack the Reaper Archway was a display created by Spirit Halloween for the 2011-2012 Halloween season. It resembles the Spirit Halloween mascot Jack the Reaper converted into an archway with Spirit logos on the sides. And here you can see a picture of it, and it's exactly that. It's an archway um, with a Jack the Reaper face, and the Spirit logo is on either side of it. So it is quite later. What is all this stuff popping up on my screen? Oh, my gosh. So it is quite literally a Jack the Reaper archway. And, ghoulies, this thing is awesome. I vaguely remember seeing this in the stores back in the day, and I kind of want one because how cool would that be? <laughs> um, let's scroll on down here. There really isn't anything else to it. It was just an archway. So let's just take a look at a couple of the pictures of it. Here is um, like the in-store, going into the store. That's really cool. It must be like a mall entrance of some sort. Awesome. And here is another photo of it with what looks like a lurching, or no, a prop of something. Oh, it was the lurching, lurching vampire is standing in front of it in this particular picture. That's really cool. I think that's what that is. Is that what that is? Maybe not. I don't know. No, Gravedigger. It was misplaced Gravedigger. There you go. <laughs> uh, here it is at 2012 at the flagship store. So you can see um, the theme I think they had going that year, leading into the entrance archway. Very cool. So that is the Jack the Reaper archway from 2012 and also apparently 2011. Let's get one final shot of that guy. So there you have it. Jack the Reaper Archway. Very cool. Kind of want one. <laughs> Jack the Reaper is my, one of my favorite, you know, obviously our favorite mascot. I got a little Jack the Reaper sitting right back here with my Jason and Freddy display. I don't know if you guys see it, you see it, you see it, you see it, you see it. There's Crouchy too. <laughs> All right, let's go back because that's pretty much all there is to see here from the archway. Uh, next is going to be the Spirit Valley Farms, which I'm guessing was that theme we saw in the previous picture, but let's just take a look anyway. 
Spirit Valley Farms, related to House of Horrors and Terror Mill, was one of the three themes created by Spirit Halloween for the 2012 Halloween season. It resembled an old barn with animatronics outside, a brick silo with several bricks missing, and a windmill covered in spider webs. And here is a picture of Spirit Valley Farm. So you can see everything right here is the windmill, there's the barn, there's the silo. And here are all the various animatronics. And we'll take a look and see what specific animatronics they had here in just a second. Look at this bat skull thing. What's up here? I love the broken shutters. I love the look of the misplaced bricks. That's very cool. Um, I'm not really seeing the cob or maybe the cobwebs are over here on the windmill. I don't know. We'll find a better picture of it, I'm sure. Let's scroll down and take a look at the animatronics. Oh, there's a big list. We have the Chain to the Grave, Creepy Caretaker, Grave Mourner. We have Jumping Spider, of course, the Jumping Zombie, Limb Ripper from 2012, the Meal Gramps. <laughs> Love that. Harvester, the Howler, Wolf Spitter. Zombie Swing Girl. I've got to take a look at Mean Old Gramps just because, like, what is Mean Old Gramps? Okay, I love it. Mean Old Gramps was an animatronic in 2012. It resembled a crazed old man wearing tattered gray clothing that could be hung from the wall. When activated, the head tilted up and turned as the mouth moved and eyes glowed to phrases. I wonder if they've got a demonstration of that somewhere here. And, of course, they do. Let's take a look at Mean Old Gramps real quick. He was part of that display. Hello. Uh, welcome to the loony bin. <laughs> Good luck getting out of here alive. <laughs> cool. Oh, that was mean old Gramps. Uh, didn't really seem all that mean, just more or less sarcastic, but... I like it. I don't ever really recall seeing that particular prop, but um, very neat. All right, let's go back to the theme and check out what else was going on here with it. Uh, let's see. The theme was originally thought to be called The Barn, but was later confirmed to be named Spirit Valley Farms by its creator. This theme featured an entrance tunnel with various fences and corn stalks, along with hanging props leading to the Jack the Archway Reaper. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> Leading to Jack the Reaper Archway. Jack the Archway Reaper. Jack Very the Archway Reaper. Jack the Archway Reaper. Alright, let's take a look at some of the uh, photos over here. Here's the flagship display. Here's the flagship display of the of the theme here. Very cool. You can see all the components. There's Jumping Spider and some other animatronics hanging out there. Um... I like this a lot. Look, there's a weather vane on top of it, Ghoulies. That's some attention to detail. Awesome. What else we got? Uh, we've seen this picture. Here's another front display of it. Okay, so here you can see this creepy looking animatronic. And we got some more there. This fence looks really cool. I think all of them together uh, make it look really cool. You know, one or one without the rest wouldn't seem to be as neat. But if you were able to get this entire display set up, that would be really cool to have for a haunt. Um, let's see. What else we got? Here's the zombie swing girl section. Take a look at her. Look at her creepy leg stockings. Or is that her skin? I don't know. <laughs> but she's creepy looking. But still a swing prop, and I'm not a huge fan of those. Here's mean old Gramps inside the silo. That's pretty cool, along with what I'm guessing is the, yeah, the jumping zombie down here. Okay. And I think we've got a shot of Limb Ripper hiding behind this. Oh, that's Wolf Baby and Wolf Spitter. Yeah, Wolf Baby. Wolf Baby? What is that? I've never seen Wolf Baby. That's cool. Um, okay, yeah, here I think that's Limb Ripper and a few other wolves together there. That's kind of cool. So this is a pretty interesting display in that it can be set up with a lot of different things. You can have, you know, scarecrow themes, wolves, zombies, pretty much anything. <clears throat> I mean, they've even got a headless horseman standing <laughs> over here, which is fine because, you know, 
there was barns and stuff in the in that story. Um, interesting enough, HalloweenCostumes.com brought out a headless horseman, and I don't get it, Ghoulies. Like, what are with these little tiny axes they keep giving the horsemen? Like. The horseman I thought was supposed to have a sword. In either case, it should at least be a battle axe of some sort. Like, this little hatchet's not going to cut a head off with one swipe. Come on! <laughs> Alright, let's get a look at one more picture here of Spirit Valley Farms. Alright, here's a final shot of Spirit Valley Farms. This is a barn shot. You can see all the different props up there. I think these are birds or something up there in the top. And there's a headless horseman. Very cool. Corn stalks, all of it. Excellent. Spirit Valley Farms, Ghoulies. Let's see. What, wait, what else we got down here? There's a lot more. Hold on. Let's take a look. Is there anything of it? You guys want to see a video? Let's take a look at the video. Now, some of these uh, display videos are, like, this is like three minutes long. I'm not going to spend, you know, time showing the whole three-minute video of the theme. If you guys want to check out the video, the full video, you can definitely head to the Spirit Wiki site and check that out. But I just wanted to give you guys a little preview of it. Didn't think you want to sit here for three minutes watching <laughs> the whole video. So that is Spirit Valley Farms from 2012 Halloween season. And we're going to go back now to the main screen, and we're going to look at, we've got... Let's see, the jumping spider displays and complimentary child care services. I don't, I don't think we're going to look at, what is, what is it, child care services? Yeah, I don't, uh, well, let's take a look at it real quick here. Let's just go back. Hold on. We'll spend some time looking at these. This is the jumping spider display. Um, these displays varied slightly each year from 2012 through 2013 and featured one spider. Um, you know, there's not even really any pictures of it here. Yeah, here it is. So this was basically the jumping spider display. It was just a very simple design of a fenced-in box with featured one jumping spider. And that's it. <laughs> so those are very cool. Those, um, if you guys see these here, like these starred ones, we probably won't spend a whole lot of time talking about the starred ones because I, from the experience, there's just very little information. And they were either very small or they were just one thing or something. So... We won't spend too much time. But let's keep going now then to the House of Horrors, which, is that a redo? Because we didn't we have a House of Horrors? Um, it's a 2012 version. There are different animatronics and they're different. Okay, kind of there you go. So it's different. So let's take a look at House of Horrors 2000. Okay, yeah, it's a lot different than the other one. House of Horrors, um, related to Spirit Valley Farms and Terror Mill, was one of the three themes created by Spirit Halloween for 2012 season. It resembled an old, small, wooden house with various animatronics inside. Not a very detailed description, but here is a picture of it. And you can see it's just a basic cardboard uh, design of a haunted house, got a candle opera, some animatronics featured, and that's pretty much it. Um, not a whole lot exciting happening with this one. I kind of think the other House of Horrors was a little more entertaining in terms of the way it looked, but this is just one picture. We'll look at some other ones. Let's see what we have. Animatronics was Ghost Girl, the life-sized Wicked Witch of the West, Rising Reagan, one of CeCe's favorites, and the Poppin' Goblin. I believe we're very familiar with Wicked Witch and Rising Reagan. Ghost Girl, I don't know. Let's see what the Poppin' Goblin's all about. Ooh, look at this guy, Ghoulies. He's inside of a pumpkin. Poppin' Goblin was an animatronic sold by Spirit in 2012. It resembled a greenish-skinned goblin wearing a black and orange striped shirt that was hiding behind a pumpkin. When activated, the pumpkin would flash as a counterpart at the back opened and the phrase could be heard. After this occurred, the goblin popped up as his eyes lit up and laughter could be heard. Ghoulies, we've got to check out the popping goblin. I don't even remember this guy. Um, 
It was infamous for shorting out and breaking extremely easily. <laughs> that might be why we've never heard of it, Ghoulies, because all, all of them broke. Um, sometimes even emitting smoke. Look at this, guys. What? Spirit Halloween setting animatronics that start fires? That can't be good. Come on, Spirit. Let's see what we got here with... Um, is there a video? There's got to be a video. Come on. Yes, there is a video. Let's check out the video of this popping goblin. Oh, my gosh. I've got to see this death destroyer, <laughs> fire starting goblin. laughs a lot <laughs> <laughs> all right so that was the popping goblin i mean i tell you what i like the style of that pumpkin and i mean it kind of has a very very classic halloween look to it with the pumpkin the way it's designed and just the overall sound of it it's a real shame that the thing didn't work out too well and that it broke a lot because that's actually not a bad you know classic looking animatronic for us for us oldies <laughs> oh shoot i went back out of the themes again i have a habit of doing that don't i guys all right let's go back to house of horrors all right so let's see what else we can find out about house of horrors animatronics we talked about those already let's see no trivia house of horrors was first made in 2011 we talked about that last time but with a slightly different design so Let's take a look at the full thing. Here is a front view. This is what it looks like empty. There's no animatronics in it. It's kind of a blurry picture, but you can see it's just a basic house with some openings to set animatronics. And then they go in and put animatronics in for decoration. Let's see what we got. Here is the life-size Wicked Witch, and you can see Reagan kind of in the background there. I apologize, Ghoulies. I'm having some construction done on my porch outside, so if you hear any banging, that's the guys out there working. <laughs> um, we've got the ghost girl photo. Ooh, she's creepy looking. I like how they've got her sitting there. That face. What is going on with that face? I'm going to have to look her up and make a short of that I one like later. Her. You like that one? Mm -hmm. That's creepy. Um, here is Reagan. She looks cool. Reagan is always a favorite around here. We love Reagan. <laughs> All right, let's see. These are video screenshots. They don't have really too many pictures of it in action. Here's the Poppin' Goblin. Oh, I like the background with like the other additional goblin faces. That's really cool. Um, I don't see any other... What is this? What is that thing? The Rapture? Ooh, that's really cool, guys. And you can see it's like coming over the rooftop of the display. That's some excellent design there. Very cool. All right, looks like they've got a video of the House of Horrors. We're going to show it again. Ghoulies, I'm not going to show the full video of the displays because they're pretty long. Some of them might contain copyrighted music, so if the audio goes out, that's what's going on there. Um, we're just going to take a quick look at it, and then we'll come back to look at the next one. <laughs> That guy's cool, I'm sorry. That's cool. I like it Which of these things is not like the other? 
Yo, that thing's cool. Yeah, that was actually a really cool display, Ghoulies. I think that one sets the mood right for the particular animatronics that they had displayed there. Um, I, I really love this thing. Uh, the Rapture, I guess is what it's called, hanging up there. That 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 is super creepy and super cool. I dig it. Uh, overall, I think this was an excellent theme. It, it, it definitely, you know, creeps you out as well as fit the animatronics that was displayed with it. Like, we didn't have anything that was kind of out of place. I mean, even though Wicked Witch was there, which didn't kind of fit with the other ones, she's still a witch, and she was, you know, associated to a house, so it's not all that bad. And I think she fits pretty cool anyway. I like it. House of Horrors 2012 is a good one for me, guys. All right. Let's go back to the main list. Here we have another one of these starred ones. It says complimentary child care services. Um, not exactly sure what was this. It says um, it resembled a daycare-themed backdrop with a, tiny, with a toy shelf, drawings, and a chalkboard. The theme could be used for a photo shoot scene, allowing visitors to put themselves in a stockade so it looks like this might have been the first season that spirit started doing those photo op centers with the various backgrounds and stuff you can see here this was what it looked like uh you could just stand there or oh, maybe even put your head and arms in the little guillotines there <laughs> that look kind of cool um but a pretty cool a photo op for the kiddos indeed all right let's jump back then and take a look at the final 2012 uh theme which was the terror mill um, also known as the Sawmill was one of the three themes created in 2012. It resembled a rundown mill. The front section appeared to be a water wheel with a wheelbarrow next to it containing multiple zombie babies. Yes. The back section resembled the inside of the mill, which contained several props hanging from the ceiling as well as numerous zombie babies on the shelf. And here you have... Um, a picture of that basic idea. You can see everything here. Um, all the little things. Where's that wheel? Here is. There's the wheel bear with the zombie babies. Looks like we've got some animatronics displayed. And actually, a pretty creepy looking display, to say the least. Let's find out some more. Okay, so the animatronics that were featured in this particular display was Agony Ann, Baby Stabby, Buzzsaw 2012, What? Deddy Bear, Death Row, Head Banging Zombie, High Voltage Box, Rosemary Zombie Girl, one of our favorites, The Wiggler, love it, Wiggler Clown, Walking Dead Teddy Bear Girl, Wiggler Devil, and Wiggler Dummy. So there was a lot of Wigglers in this particular display. I want to see Buzzsaw 2012 because I don't recall there being a Buzzsaw before Buzzsaw that we're most familiar with from the 2021 season? Mm -hmm. 2021. Buzzsaw 2012 was an animatronic uh, sold by Spirit. It resembled a zombie hanging off of hooks by the shoulders. When activated, the head rocks back and forth as the saw moves. Saw Sawing sounds and screams can be heard. Well, where is there a saw? I don't see a saw. Let's take a look at the picture. A seesaw. Ha! See what I did there? Is there a saw in here? Oh, it's in his chest. Okay, there's the saw right there, ghoulies. Okay, so apparently this saw makes some noises and moves. Um, interesting. I'm not familiar with this. Let's take a look at the video of this guy because I'm very curious as to how, how the name of Buzzsaw went from this kind of an animatronic to the one that we're more familiar with. Let's take a look at Buzzsaw 2012. Ooh. It's actually cool. to say ghoulies i really like that buzzsaw that particular version of buzzsaw um because the saw continuously moves which is cool buzzsaw from 2021 you know we wanted that saw to be moving and it would only do it for a very short time that was kind of a eh. I still love buzzsaw from 2021 but um i like the fact that the saw keeps moving in this particular one all right, it says here, uh, Midnight Syndicate exclusively... Oh, the sounds emitted at the display was a score simply called Western Mood, which was composed by Midnight Syndicate exclusively for 
Spirit Halloween. If you guys don't know Midnight Syndicate, you've got to listen to them. They are great. They're a group of musicians that compose um, really cool, holiday, creepy holiday music, both for um, Christmas and Halloween. They started mainly as Halloween, but I do believe they have some Christmas ones out there where they've made some creepy music for the holiday season. All right, here is some pictures of the Terror Mill. We've seen this one. Here is the in-store display of it. Very cool looking. Uh, a lot happening in here. I think Terror Mills really do sell a very good, effective scare uh, presence to them with all the saws and the rust and all of that look to it. Um, the the All these zombie babies, I'm not sure like why the devils and clowns are particular in this one. You think you'd have more like zombies and more ghoulish monster type themes like Rosemary here or you know this this dude or that dude back there. Buzzsaw obviously was a perfect fit. Here is a complete shot of the zombie babies. There they are. All of the zombie babies. And look at this little dude up here. Who is this guy? <laughs> He's cute. Oh, there's a teddy bear. Awesome. Okay, what else we got? Here is a shot of the torture section. We can see we've got some zombies there hanging, getting tortured and sliced up. That actually looks really cool. Um, here's a picture of the Rosemary Zombie Girl section. Excellent. Oh, I like this shot. That's pretty cool looking. Look at this, these heads hanging up here. <laughs> Very cool. Here's another display of some more of the props and animatronics. Pretty cool shot of everybody. That's pretty cool right there. Which one is this? Who's that tall one there? I can't seem to get a name on that one. Let's see. Let's see if we can find a picture of the tall one by itself. Ooh, Death Row. That is that the name of that? Pretty cool. And here's, I think, is that the control box or the shock box or something? If you're looking at this tall one, it's the Female zombies, is that what it's called? That tall one? Mm -hmm. All right, so Cease figured out that, um, let's see, where is it? Okay, this tall zombie right here is called female zombie. That's just what it was known as. How tall is it, does it say? You got it there? 5.5 feet tall. Five and a half feet tall. So it looks bigger in the picture, but um, pretty cool. All right, so let's take a look at the uh, video demonstration of the Terror Mill, and then we'll head on to 2013, ghoulies. That's cool. I think that zombie's cool. Okay, so that was a little demo of the Terror Mill from the 2012 Spirit Halloween season. Very cool. I think all three of these themes for this particular year were effective and really cool and creepy. Um, if I had to pick probably my favorite one from the season, I'm going to probably go with the House of Horrors just because of how well uh, the props fit with the theme. Uh, Spirit, I mean, they all did a great job, and I, all, I actually like Buzzsaw a lot, so it's kind of hard to say, but I think overall, I really like the House of Horrors the best from the 2012 season. What do you guys think? What was your favorite one? Um, I like Spirit Valley Farms, House of Horrors, and Terror. Spirit Valley... <laughs> Is moving on now to 2013, we have got something that's starting off that has my attention immediately, the Spirit Clown Train. I don't recall seeing this from just the title of it. Maybe the pictures will bring, back, bring something back, but I'm very excited to check this one out. I like, oh, actually, I think I do remember that. <laughs> Spirit 
Spirit Clown Train was one of the three themes created by Spirit Halloween for the 2013 season. The front of the theme resembled a giant clown archway that could be walked through underneath. The clown face in the arch had sharp teeth and swirl-filled eyes. The back of the theme resembled two train carts, each with clowns strewn throughout. So this is a picture of the archway here, and here are the two clown cars you can see behind it. We'll get some better pictures of those, I'm sure, as we look. Uh, animatronics featured were Bloody Bag of Jokes, Chester the Jester, Dead Humor, Demonic Circus Clown, Miss Fortune Teller, Scary Clown Mirror, Silent and Deadly. That's a very cool prop. Thrashing Clown, and Wacky Mole. The original Wacky Mole. Don't get excited. Not a huge fan of the original one. Um... Let's see, trivia, prototype clown archway featured fuzzy hair instead of printed, and the demonic circus clown made by Jemmy was originally planned to be in place of the Wacky Mole, but Wacky Mole was ultimately chosen instead. That's right. All right, so animatronics, we would, all right, so let's take a look at some of, wait, let's pick an animatronic. We, we, we're pretty much familiar with what Wacky Mole looks like. Um, bloody bag of jokes, Chester the Jester? I'm not sure if I know. I don't know which one to look at. How about um, uh, Scary Clown Mirror? I don't know. what. Oh, oh, good choice. <laughs> um, it says the Scary Clown Mirror was an animatronic sold by Spirit Halloween for the 2013 Spirit Halloween season. And it resembled dark green mirror that glowed UV in the dark. And when activated, a crazed clown face would appear as the eyes uh, lit up and the mouth moved to laughter and phrases. That is some scary looking business, Ghoulies. Let's take a look at the video. I gotta see this guy in action. You know there's gotta be something. Here we go. That's cool. His eyes look like Wacky Mole. And the colors. Yeah. Um, his face looks like Not too bad. Um, you know, just basically a laughing mirror. I think it looked, as I said, it looks a little bit like Wacky Mole, or at least was inspired by a Wacky Mole design. Um, but that's cool because we love Wacky Mole. Okay. Um, here are some more pictures of the theme. That giant clown face archway is actually really cool. I dig that a lot. I would love to have that as an archway for whenever we get enough animatronics to open a haunt. That would be perfect because we have all the clown animatronics, or not all of us, but we have a lot of clown animatronics, and I think that would be really cool. Uh, here's another shot of the archway. That is super cool. You can see the fortune teller there in the center. Wacky moles off to the uh, right here. Really cool. Really dig that idea a lot. Wait just a minute. How come the Miss Fortune Teller isn't a clown train theme? She's not a clown. They just, they're just showing it's a circus, and fortune tellers are often at circuses. Oh. Yeah. I get it. All right. So here's um, the left train cart picture. You can see... Uh, Bloody bag of jokes there, silent and deadly and dead humor are all right there in that display. That's really cool. Uh, and here is a picture of the right train car with Wacky Mole. And who's that guy? I'm not That's sure. That's Thrashing Clown. Thrashing Clown. All right. So there's the original Wacky Mole. Look at the... I hate the shoes I like on it. the original Wacky Mole. I cannot stand those shoes, Ghoulies. I, just, I like the look of the old... The old wacky mole just looks too goofy. I don't I don't know. Like I don't know. I don't know. I love the redesign much, 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 much better. Here's a really cool picture of this haunted dolls. Like that. That's really fun. And what else do we have here? Here is a up close shot of the fortune. Here is an up close shot of the fortune teller. Does it say something? I wonder if it says. We'll probably see it in a video if it does. That's pretty cool. Speaking of, let's see if we can find a video of this display. Man, that clown archway is really cool, guys. I like that. That is so cool. I need to find the clown archway. <laughs> mm -hmm. It'd be good for a clown theme. 
Absolutely. Oh, what is that? What is this? That's a misfortune teller. Oh, that's a close up on her face. Love it. Okay. All right, let's take a look at the video from the Spirit Clown Train. That's really cool. Oh! Okay, I like her, Ghoulies. Very cool, guys. Um, I, I really like that display a lot. I, I think that's really cool. I think everything about it is really cool. I love how it very circusy it looks. I love the train cars. I love the archway. I love the Ford. That fortune teller animatronic is really cool. I'm gonna have to find some more stuff on her. But guys, this is a cool theme. Very well done in terms of matching the animatronic to the theme. I think this is a home run, in my opinion, in terms of just hitting every point that it needs to hit. It's creepy, it's short and sweet, it displays the appropriate animatronics, and gives you a really cool shopping experience. I love it. I love it a lot. Was that a prototype wacky mole? It looked so different. <laughs> Hold on. All right, so let's take a look at what this evil toy... Or I'm sorry, we're not. Yeah, yeah. Let's look at what this evil toys displays. It has a star, so it probably... Yeah. So this was just a display for the featured toy-themed, battery-operated tabletop animatronics. Um, I believe this was the... These are basically like your side steppers and your, your dolls with the push stomachs and everything that speak. And look at this jack-in-the-box. That looks super cool, guys. Oh, man. Is that monkey chimes down here? Yeah, okay. Very cool display. Yep, all right. So that was that. Jumping spider display back again for 2013. Um, basically the same thing we saw the last time. So we're not going to spend much more time on that. And we're going to go right to the Haunted Mansion. This sounds cool. Guys, clowns and haunted houses. Those are my, those are my things. So, <laughs> okay. So the Haunted Mansion was one of three themes created by Spirit Halloween for the 2013 season. Resembled an old abandoned mansion. On each side of the theme, there would be a different part of the interior of the house. Here's um, the initial shot here. You can see just kind of the front of it with a few animatronics, some candle operas. Looks really cool, really creepy, very old and antique-ish. Love it. Let's take a look at the details and see what kind of things came with this particular prop. Mm -hmm. With this particular theme. <clears throat> okay, so we have the three-foot Skeeves the butler. I didn't want to take a look at him. Jumping Spider, Grave Watcher, Gruesome Granny, Jumping Bug, Jumping Snake, Pumpkin Nester, Sickening Reaper, Skeeves the Butler again. Oh, there's a three-foot version and a regular version, I guess. Uh, talking Cherubs and Zombie Head Wall Mount. So um, there's a three-foot Skeeves Butler. Let's look at the regular Skeeves the Butler um, because he looks really cool. Resembled a zombie butler holding a silver tray, and when activated, his eyes lit up yellow, his head turned, and he moved his mouth to several phrases and eerie music. So let's take a look at what Skeeves the Butler was all about. Please, do come in. I'm afraid we've run out of finger foods. But I should have ah. some for you in just a moment soon. Ooh. Look at his head. Just that That's still true. living. Please, go ahead. Before your survival instinct kicks in. <laughs> yep. 
I like that one, guys. Um, it's not all that terrifying, <laughs> but it's cool. Like, it's fun. It made me laugh. I love the way his head was kind of moving. Like, that was really neat. like that guy. Skeeves the Butler. Very cool. All right, let's go back to the theme and take a look here. Um, let's see. Wallpaper in this theme was heavily inspired by Disney's The Haunted Mansion. Go figure. Only around 100 stores received the Atmos Fear FX section. Due to 2013 being the first year that Spirit carried atmospheric, Atmos FX products and utilized them in the theme. Um, let's see here. Okay, so here is a picture of the front. Very cool. <clears throat> Look at this 666 sign down here. That's awesome. Um, here is a display from the side. You can see another angle here with the fireplace and the cherubs. Here on the top of the fireplace in the zombie uh, head wall mount thing there. Very cool. Oh, okay, so here's the three-foot Skeeves the Butler down there. Um, so it's exactly the same thing, just a different ver just a smaller version. Here's a better shot of the three-foot Skeeves next to the fireplace, which looks really cool. I like it a lot. And here is Skeeves the butler misplaced along with Pumpkin Nestor. And who's this guy? Something. This guy's a scythe. Pretty cool. All right. Set up in a haunter's display. So this is not an in-store picture. This is someone who apparently got the display and put it in their own haunt. And you can see when you put it together, um, like in an actual haunt situation rather than just having it back-to-back -back in a store... It looks really effective, guys. Very cool. Um, that's the cool thing about these themes, that if you get them and you assemble them in a really creative way, you can make pretty cool themes for your own haunts. I, I dig it. The creativity is just awesome. Um, very cool. Let's take a look at a demonstration of the theme. I like that. Is that and how it will carry it out afterwards. I don't know which one it is, but I just love it. Ew. Ah! Jumping spider. Oh, they talk to each other. That's cool. That's awesome. Ooh! Jumping. jumping snake is kind of cool. Mmm, that's awesome. Man, I can't... Oh, look at the lightning effects oh, in the background. The yeah. Talking about. They're lighting. I don't know. This is awesome. Yeah, guys, that was super good. Um, man, I'm having a hard time deciding between the circus train and the mansion because that one was really cool. Another example of effective prop placing, having the right animatronics to fit the theme. Um, and the, the lightning in the background, the, the music and atmosphere, that was a really very cool theme. I like that one a lot. Excellent job there. Okay, so in 2013, next we have this Lawn Scares. Uh, I don't know what that is. It says, is an ongoing product by line of Spirit Halloween since 2012. The product line also featured side themes for 2013. The right, line also featured side themes for 2013, 2015. Display was a shed style setup that showcased outdoor Halloween decorations and select animatronics. 2012 to present. Ghoulies, I don't remember seeing this sign in the store. Do you? Um, um, it's, the theme doesn't exist anymore, but the Lawn Scares logo is something. I don't know. Scares. It says 2012 to present. You'll see. I don't know. Like It has animatronics. It's got animated tombstone, creepy caretaker, zombie gnome, jumping skull, pop-up zombie. There aren't any like photos of it. What's this? What's this? Lawn care. 
Okay, so no, we have we... long scares. Oh, long, long scares. scares. So we've got some zombie gnomes and um, I don't five foot collapsible coffin. See long scares. Over okay, there? so there's the a logo. logo. Sometimes appears on different. Oh, I see. About. Okay, okay. The theme doesn't exist. The anymore. theme. Okay, there you go. The theme doesn't exist, but the the logo will still pop up from time to time. Okay. Oh, here's some pictures. Okay, so here is a picture awesome. of the 2013 display, the full view. So long. That's actually kind of cool, guys. Um, you know, for to have a, a fun decorative way to display outdoor Halloween decorations. But yeah, they don't put that much effort into the in-store setup for them anymore. However, it is very cool. Here's another one. We still see these products sold in stores. It's just these signs we don't really see too much. Look at Jack the Reaper with the hedge trimmers. Mm -hmm. That's great. Okay. All right. I think that's enough time spent. Oh, wait. Here's some. What is. Ew, look at these guys. What are those, like zombie deer? What? They look like dragons. What are those dudes? They look like dragons. Love it. And what's that moss going there? That's just creepy moss, yep. Yeah. What is this, a skull birdbath fountain? Coolies! What happened to this cool stuff? <laughs> yeah. All right. All right, let's go back to the themes list, and now we'll go on to the Spirit Asylum. Man, 2013 is a good year, guys. Asylums, haunted mansions, clowns, they have got it going on. Spirit Asylum, also known as Spirit Hollows Asylum, was one of the three themes. Um, it resembled an old rundown insane asylum with several animatronics inside. This is a really cool theme, you guys. I mean, I think the attention put into this is awesome. What do you think? It's my favorite from 2013. It looks so cool. It's like a big theme. Excellent. Okay, let's take a look at what was involved here. Whoa, look at this animatronics list. Cemetery Angel, Convulsing Nurse, Death Row, First Aid Kit, High Voltage Box, Isabella, Jumping Critter, Jumping Dog, Limb Eating Zombie Boy, Ouchie the Clown? Who's Ouchie the Clown? I don't know. Do you know who Ouchie the Clown is, Harry? Rosemary Zombie Girl, Wheelchair Psycho, and Zombie Swing Girl. I want to see who Ouchie the Clown is. Oh, what? it's a zombie baby. A clown oh, baby? Oh, my gosh. Is it... It's not a zombie baby, it's a clown baby. When activated, it spoke phrases as the arms move up and down and the lights lit. What is what is this guy? Let's take a look at this. Ouchie the clown. Alright, I want to see this. That. Yeah, I don't know so much about that one. That one's a little weird. I, I don't think I like his hair. It looks a little Ronald McDonald-ish. And the phrasing just didn't... Ah, that's a flop. That's a flop there, Ghoulie. He's not a fan of that one. Let's go back to the theme. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> Let's go back to the theme of the Spirit Asylum. And let's take a look at some more of the information here. It says, This ISC featured actual siren lights on the entrance that lit up as the lights spun. Some stores kept them off. Jack the Reaper was featured on the entrance sign. And the background was a photo of an abandoned asylum from New Jersey. So the, the picture of it was from an actual asylum. How creepy cool is that? Let's take a look at this. Spirit Asylum. Here is... Um, no, we can't really see that yeah, one. I don't know why they make these pictures. Okay, here we go. Here's Spirit Hall's Asylum. You can see Jack the Reaper up there. Animatronics on either side, behind these fences, and in the back. Somebody wearing a creepy mask in front. <laughs> Here's a jumping dog. Very, very cool. Let's see what other kind of pictures of it we can find. Here's a good shot. Of the entire front section this is really cool with the fencing that looks awesome and again animatronic placement is very spot on these guys all seem to be very inmate like of some way or another uh, here's another shot inside 
with Lim eating Zombie Boy and a couple others, Rosemary Zombie Girl. And she looks very much like she's an inmate with her white gown, like she could be right on that bed. Which, again, apparently, according to the information, the photograph here of these walls and everything was from an actual asylum in New Jersey, so that's really cool. Um, let's take a look at another photo. Here's a picture of ooh, Jack the Reaper in Spirit Hollow's Asylum. He's been featured on a lot of them in the recent years, too. He's kind of spotted somewhere. Um, all right, let's watch the video. Oh, is that what, jumping is that, rat? It must have been. Oh, the first aid box is cool. Oh, she's cool. That's so cool. Very well done. Yeah, that was really cool, guys. Um, I, I think that in this particular year of 2013, um, the designs for these uh, themes and the animatronics that went along with them were very spot on. Um, the, the clown train, the haunted mansion, the asylum... Both excellent. What's this window wall gallery display? Let's take a look at that. Um, it resembled a wall with gray wallpaper. Two windows were on each side of the portrait. Spirit Halloween logo was in the middle. Two windows contained digital projections of zombie shadows walking around and interacting with the windows. So you can see that right here. And the zombie uh, animations would be here in these particular windows. That's pretty cool. I wonder if they have any... There is a video. Let's check out that video real quick. Oh, you can see, yeah, the zombie hands on the windows. All right, so that was the window wall gallery. Um, so yeah, all of the themes from 2013, excellent guys. I don't really know which one my favorite would be. I. I know I always generally go for clowns, but I think in this particular year, I'm going to have to uh, give the, the attention to the Haunted Mansion. That one, for some reason, just seemed really scary and dark, and the animatronics were placed perfectly. Um, overall, excellent themes from all three of them. The, the clown train, the mansion, and the asylum were excellent, excellent themes from that year, and they all deserve a round of applause. But I think the winner would be Haunted Mansion from that particular year. I like the Spirit Asylum. Spirit Asylum. I like Haunted Mansion. Haunted Mansion for you. All right, ghoulies, moving on now to 2014, the last year that we're going to look at for this video. Uh, we've got three themes again and then three side themes, so we'll take a look at them a little quicker. Um, let's start with the number one, The Ruins. Let's see what this is, The Ruins. Also known as Spirit Sanctuary or Church Ruins, was one of the three themes created by Spirit for the 2014 Halloween season. It resembled ancient ruins with a stone tower and small stone buildings with props inside. You can see the photo of it here. Very cool looking. Uh, there's the stones and there's uh, the place for the display. Some skeletons. A really cool looking picture in the background. Um, fresh kill hills. <laughs> All right. Animatronics that were featured were Corn Stalker, Jackal Lunger, Jumping Cat, Helga Toad Gutter, what? Little Nestor 2014, Pop Up Grave Zombie, Pop Up Werewolf, Pumpkin Nestor, The Harvester, Untimely Death, and Witch of Stolen Souls. What the heck is Helga Toad Gutter? Let's take a look at that. Oh, Helga Toad Gutter 
resembled a decapitated head of an old female witch being held up by an arm reaching up from the grave of a tombstone. And when activated, the arm would move up and down. Or I'm sorry, the arm would yeah move with the head and the right eye lit up and the mouth moved to phrases. Let's take a look real quick at Helga the Toad Gutter. <laughs> She was pretty cool. Um, I, I dig it. I, it was a very cool animatronic. The hand moved. The mouth moved. She said some pretty cool phrases. I'm in. All right, let's go back to the theme. Take a look at some more information that we can find on the, um, the ruins here. Uh, early concept art featured a fallen tower that created an archway, and this idea was dismissed as the technology was not advanced enough to make them safe. Fair enough. Let's see a picture of the theme here. Here's the front section with untimely death and pose and stay skeleton. Perfect placement here with untimely death. I like that. What we got down here, we've got this jumping cat. There's like pop-up werewolves right there. There's the Helga toad gutter. And it looks like something fell over here as some sort of a background of a fallen tower of some sort. Here's Pop-Up Werewolf. I don't really recall that animatronic, but I'm guessing it's very much like, you know, um, Tombstone of Terror or something that we, that we had last year where it's just a, a jump up scare from behind beneath that picture there. Uh, here's the Witch of Stolen Souls. She looks really creepy, very effective. Love that lantern. That's very cool. So here's a view of the tower section. Now, it looks like the tower is falling over, so I'm not sure. Oh, they were talking about creating an archway, so that's not what they just, they just have the tower fallen. Okay, it's interesting. What's this? Frightfully entertaining digital decorations. Okay. Ooh, what do we got here? Oh, so these are DVDs that they sold? Were these, like, independent films cool not bad spirit all right let's take a look at the video of the ruins from 2014 that's cool that is cool is this a tv screen yeah Yeah, guys, that's really cool. Definitely like that a lot. Um, I, again, this was another good example of good prop placement along with the theme. Um, excellent, excellent design. It had a very broken down, crumbled sort of, as it should be, ruins um, with some effective monsters and everything. So that was The Ruins 2014. All right. Let's go back now and look at The Attic. Ooh, guys, I'm excited to see this one. The Attic. One of the themes created in 2014 was a small Victorian attic with dark wood accents and purple damask wallpaper. Damask? Damask? I don't know how to say that. In different areas, there were multiple scenes representing various parts of an attic. So here you go. Here is the various parts of it. Here's the purple area. And I'm guessing um, that this would be another type of, of theme that, it, that could be opened up if you purchased it yourself and, and, and set it up that you could have it much like the mansion 
where not all of these have to be in, in a box like that, you know what I'm saying? All right, so the animatronics featured in the attic were Broken Girl, Coat Rack Monster, Chester the Jester, Electrified Maniac, Evil Scientist, Ghost Riding Book, Grandfather Clock, if it was released, Lunging Lily, Peekaboo Perry, oh, Peekaboo Penny, sorry, Perry, Possessed Wall Hanger, The Roaming Antique Doll Lost Lizzie, Tina, if released, and Undead Granny. Let's take a look at Coat Rack Monster. What the heck is, what is this guy? When activated, the head and arms rose in a swift motion, revealing a ghoulish face. As this happened, crashing and screaming could be heard. What? What is this guy? Let's take a look at Coat Rack. animatronic for that theme and even a great animatronic in general for a haunt um i mean that guy was cool because in the resting position he totally looks like a regular coat rack just you know chilling there nothing going on and then when activated boom he jumps to life perfect for an attic theme a basement theme or even just in, on, on your front porch or in the living room you can invite people over to your house and they would never see it coming ghoulies ah love that guy yeah that is a good one. He's perfect. He's a good. All right. Theme was first made in 2013 with a slightly different design and name. The pictures, uh, we've got, all right, so you can see here, you got the, the front of the attic with this little gate, and then it goes up the stairs, and you see some creepy pictures. There he is, right there. <laughs> he, he's perfect. Coat he just rack. Looks like a normal coat rack. Somewhere. You can't even tell that it's an animatronic. I love it. And then in the attic, we've got this purple looking theme with this background tent and these zombies. Very good peekaboos there. Oh my gosh, guys. Very excellent. Very creative. Love mm -hmm. this. I like Lunging Lily. Lunging Lily. She's awesome. Here is Evil Scientist. Although, I guess. No, that would be kind of cool because yeah, you could have an evil scientist hanging out in your attic. That's really cool. Look, he's got his vials and stuff back there. Like that. This rusty attic light, that's really cool. Mm. That would be perfect. All right, let's take a look at the video. Dear oh, there's the book. That's, that's cool. Three more lives. You're just in time for my experiment. That's cool. Now lie down and give me your soul. <laughs> All right, guys. So there you have the attic 2014 uh, theme display by Spirit Halloween. Very cool. Love it a lot. Um, in terms of both the ruins in the attic, I'm kind of digging the attic a little more. Um, I still think 2013 so far has been the best. What are toys in the attic? How is that different? So this is just a display, I think, of just random props, you know, the dolls and the things. Very cool. Makes sense. Toys in the attic. Excellent. All right. We're going to move on. To the jumping spider display, which I think is just, again, the same thing that we've been seeing. But I just want to make sure. Yep. Same thing we've been seeing. So we're not going to go on that. Lawn scares we looked at already. So we're going to jump down now to the last theme of 2014 and this particular video called Last Chance Gas. <laughs> um, last Chance Gas was one of the three themes created in 2014. It resembled a gas station with a gas pumps, general store bathroom, ew, a garage and repair. Here's a picture of it. You can see <laughs> the price of the gas spells hell which when you turn it around would be $4.37, which actually isn't too far from what gas prices actually are. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's take a look. 
It featured Barnyard Butcher, Bouncy, Jumping Dog, Lil Walker, Limb Eating Zombie Boy, Lurching Zombie, Moonshine Barrel, Pop-Up Zombie Toilet. Oh, we're going to look at that one. Ratatouille Zombie Baby. Rosemary Zombie Girl again, mm -hmm. The Swing Zombie Boy, and Zombie Swing Girl. I've got to see uh, this pop-up zombie toilet because, oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. It's a toilet zombie, and when activated, a green-skinned zombie with gray hair pops out and makes gurgling noises. We're that, gonna... that toilet looks just like a gas station toilet. <laughs> <laughs> that's how they always are. It says, um, let's see, let's find a video of this pop up toilet. Oh my gosh. I mean, I wouldn't even want to use this bathroom. What? <laughs> Did he just make gurgling noises? Did he not have phrases? I kind of feel like he should have some phrases. Did he have phrases? The gurgling noises doesn't doesn't do much for me. Let's see what did he have? Let's see what did it say? Featured. No, I guess just popped up with gurgling noises and, and, and sounds. I need a little more than just the girl. He, he has to say something, but still a pretty cool prop. Very funny. Um, let's go back to the theme. Take a look at it here. Um, the numbers beneath the last chance gas were flipped upside down to spell out hell. We know that, obviously. Barnyard Butcher was the only new animatronic in this theme with phrases. So let's take a look. Here is the theme, wide shot of everything here. You've got all your animatronics inside the gas station. Here's the bathroom with the to That does not look like a gas station that I would ever want to go to, Louise. I think I would just take my chances peeing on the side of the road. <laughs> there is your last chance gas featuring Hell and Jack the Reaper logo there. Um, here we go. Here's a small store setup. So you can kind of see the general store, and there's the bathroom, and there's the garage and repair with the sign. Guys, this would actually be something really cool if you got all the pieces and set it up yourself, like outside in the backyard. Um, this is really cool. A very interesting design. You don't see too many uh, gas station type displays um, ever, really. Um, what else? General store. Okay, let's just take a look at the video. I think the videos show us a little bit better than the pictures generally do. Anybody got a candle? <laughs> I like barnyard butcher is cool. That is oh look, you can see through its belly. So this is um, obviously a display that is very well diversified in terms of what you can actually put in to decorate it. Um, you can see from the picture, like, there, you know, you don't really have to have zombies. They're featuring zombies in this particular display. But, I mean, you could really put anything with a, a gas station theme and it would effectively look creepy, especially if all these pieces were spread around a little more to make it look like an actual gas station. Very cool, guys. Very cool. I think um, for the 2014 season, my particular vote is going to have to go to the attic, just in terms of it being, you know, um, creepy and scary along with good product placement. Although I will say Last Chance Gas was a close second, yeah, just in terms of, you like it a lot? <laughs> just in terms of the fact of it being different and not something that you see and also being very versatile in how you could 
decorated with different props and animatronics. They wouldn't really have to be anything specific because it's just a gas station. It could be anything in there. All right, ghoulies. Well, that about does it for our exploration of the Spirit Halloween in-store themes and displays from the 2012 Halloween season through the 2014 Halloween season. I hope you guys had a lot of fun watching this video as much as we had fun making it. Make sure that you guys are hitting that subscribe button so that way you don't miss the next video in the series as well as all of our upcoming videos. And until next time, we'll catch you later, ghoulies.